Hey everyone, you've all heard post-production basic at this point, but now I'm bringing you fully COVID basic. Basic. I know it's been a while, so why have I decided to wait until I'm obviously infirm to bring you all another video? Well, that's because I'm going to walk you through the best damn category on speedrun.com for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. A run through all of the possible tracks backwards. Well, almost all the tracks. We'll get into that. A run through most of the possible tracks backwards. For a bit of context, this run is an updated version of a category that's been on the leaderboards for a while now, which we've taken to calling percents draw cab, which is just backwards percent, but backwards. The rules are as follows. Number one, hop into time trials and go through one lap backwards on each of the tracks that are shown on screen now. You can do the tracks in any order, but do note that completing a lap requires that the rear tires of your cart pass the near edge of the finish line like so. Rule number two, timing starts when Lakitu's lights turn green on your first track. This is a bit different from other categories where we wait until you actually click OK to start the timer, but this is a rule that was originally put in place because, as we'll see later on in the video, many of these tracks have gaps that are quite difficult to clear backwards, and forcing people to quit out and reselect the track is just a lot more painful than it needs to be. And that's it, those are the rules, so let's dive on in and check out the run. We're starting off with N64 Rainbow Road because it's got a gigantic wall that we need to get around at the very start of the run. This is probably one of the hardest... Oh wait, I made it through on literally my first attempt at the track. The way it works is that you need to essentially jump into this wall with a mushroom and pray that you get enough height to jump over the track barrier on the right so that Lakitu can pick you up and put you on the other side of this wall. Amazingly, I made it over this barrier on my very first attempt and you can just hear how excited I was about that. Oh, dude, first try. We're already off to a fantastic start here. <laughs> One thing I didn't mention about the sectional tracks, by the way, is that if you'll recall, the rules state that we only need to go through one lap backwards. For sectional tracks like this, that means we just need to finish lap three. And now that we've done that, we've got a little bit of breathing room. The next track is Mario Circuit, which is pretty much as free as it always is. Toad Harbor's after that, and even though it has no barriers, the lines are kind of awkward, and now is probably a good time to mention that I haven't actually grinded any of the base game tracks backwards since my first and only submission to the original category more than two years ago. The point being that shoddy driving cost me a few seconds, but, you know, we're still averaging less than a minute per track at this point, and at this rate we're going to be done in just half an hour. Hopefully the rest of the tracks go as smoothly as the last three and- Oh my god! Twisted Mansion is the fourth track in this run and also has one of the more difficult barriers to clear. Once we go down the stairs, it's actually pretty easy to build up a UMT and then mushroom trick off the fountain to clear the gap. Problem is, Lakitu is a major jerk and will stop you from actually entering the water. There is a method to get around this where you mini turbo trick off the corner of the fountain to hit the other path, but this is incredibly difficult to do. So our other option is to trick Lakitu into thinking that we're at a different part of the track than we actually are by driving into this corner. The issue is that if we drive back up the stairs to do the UMT Mushroom Strat like before, it resets Lakitu and he'll once again stop you from completing the track backwards. So your only option is to just mushroom straight at the fountain and pray that you have enough height to clear the gap. And this is where we should probably talk about the combo that we're using. I'm using Drybone's Bitty Buggy right now because his smaller hitbox makes the barrier skip on N64 Rainbow Road much easier. But the issue is that he's so slow that it's almost impossible to get enough height with him to clear the barrier on Twisted Mansion. So after literally banging my face into a wall for a minute and a half, I decided to switch to Peachette. And after three more minutes, I switched from Bitty Buggy to Teddy Buggy. After a few more attempts, I finally managed to clear Twisted Mansion. So yeah, that pretty much killed any chance of getting a decently fast run out of this, but we ball. After that, we got a bit of a break because the next seven tracks are Moo Moo Meadows, Toad's Turnpike, Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains 3, Sherbet Land, Yoshi Circuit, and Excite Bike Arena. None of these tracks have any barriers that we have to worry about, and really the only thing that makes them difficult is my own ineptitude and inexperience with driving the tracks backwards. Dragon Driftway is the next track in the run, and this features three separate barriers that we have to clear. The first and by far most difficult is at the very start of the run. We need to get up this ramp here, and thank the dear lord that whoever designed the track decided to put these little angled walls right next to it, because what this allows us to do is jump and bonk the wall in such a way that it pushes our cart up and over the barrier. After that, we've got the second barrier. It's really not that hard to get over, but for some reason I was apparently in the middle of a brain aneurysm when I got here, and I couldn't get over it with a super mini turbo or a mushroom. Like I said, the gap actually isn't that hard and is in fact possible without any of that, so... Yeah, that's what I did. 
The third gap is at the end of the lap, and you can basically treat this little bump in the road as a ramp to give you enough height to clear the anti-grav ramp. Wario's Gold Mine is up next, and this one is pretty straightforward for the most part, when you're, uh, again, not in the middle of severe brain hemorrhaging like I am. The only thing that might trip you up is this jump over the gap which requires a mushroom to clear, but it's not really that bad. SNES Rainbow Road and Baby Park are after that, and they're about as free as they come, so let's skip ahead and talk about Animal Crossing. There are two barriers to clear here. The first is right at the start of the track and requires you to use a mushroom and then use this grass as a ramp to make it over the gap. The second and far more annoying gap is a jump from the fountain. This requires a lot of speed and height to clear properly, and the method that I found from the backwards Discord server is to start a drift off the top of this log to mini turbo trick off the fountain. Unfortunately, this requires that you trick in a pretty specific spot, and I failed it quite a few times before actually getting my successful run. After that, we have what has to be the most ridiculous track in the run with Super Bell Subway. If you've played the track enough, you'll know that close to the start of the lap going forwards, there's a huge wall that's impossible to get up by any conventional means. As you might have guessed, the trains going back and forth are what we're going to use to actually clear the gap. Unfortunately, they're not actually there at the start of the run. So what we have to do is drive to this part of the track and then wait around for a minute and a half before we can get on top of the train. And may God have mercy on your soul if you fall off. After that, we wait until we get to the wall and then we get over it by tricking off the boost ramp. And that's it for the 17 tracks in the base game. If you'll recall, I was originally thinking I could be done with the whole run in about half an hour, give or take. Yeah, that's not happening here. After a quick run through Toad Circuit, we are on to the second silliest course in the run, Coconut Mall. Soon after the run begins, we get to the glider ramp, and it might seem like we're up sh creek without a paddle here, but as it turns out, we can abuse Lakitu by spin drifting in this corner for about 45 seconds. Specifically, what we're trying to do here is drive back and forth into this wall about 20 times, which will confuse Lakitu and cause him to freak out and drop us off just before the glider ramp, allowing us to finish the run without any other issues. The details of how this works are a bit beyond the scope of this video, but YouTuber Jopes has a video that breaks the freak out down in gory detail. I'll link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. Shroom Ridge and Mario Circuit 3 are up next, and they don't really have that much to offer in the way of interesting strats to talk about, but after those, we're on to Calamari Desert. There aren't any barriers to cross here, but one thing that I just kind of personally found interesting is that when you drive backwards, the game apparently loads lap 3, which activates the big ramp on lap 2, even though we haven't technically gotten there yet. Not sure why that happens, but pretty cool nonetheless. The other thing to point out is that I played this track so little that I completely forgot that lap 3 starts in the tunnel and spent an extra 30 seconds getting turned around trying to find my way to the start of lap 2. So that's... embarrassing. Snowland is up next, and there's not too much to talk about other than this weird little jump around the ramp, which is kinda precise, but honestly about as free as Wario's goldmine. Mushroom Gorge, on the other hand, is a colossal pain in the neck to get through. The idea is to mini turbo and jump, landing in a right drift off the second mushroom and then doing a super bounce off the third. Praise be to Miyamoto in all his glory, because this setup seems to consistently get you just far enough to land on the edge of the green mushroom, which acts like a ramp to get you on top of the next set of mushrooms. The problem is that when doing that first jump, you need to angle yourself in such a way that you land on the middle slash right hand side of the second mushroom before you can actually see it. And if your positioning is messed up at all, you'll fall off like I did on my first attempt here. After getting turned around trying to figure out lap 3 of London Loop, and then after getting turned around again at the very start of Athens Dash, we've got a freebie with Mario Circuit and a not so freebie with Waluigi Stadium. This barrier isn't actually that hard to clear, you just need to mushroom jump off the ramp with your cart facing in between the arrow and the ramp. But never let it be said that I can't take even the simplest of tasks and f*** it up three times in a row. And if we could all just ignore the fact that I fell off literally the easiest part of the track, I'd really appreciate that. Speaking of things I'd rather pretend didn't happen, here's Daisy Cruiser. What's funny is this is one of the freest barriers in the run. Literally all you have to do is mushroom jump up the ramp. The thing is though that before I attempted this run, I did a little bit of prep work by going into the backwards discord to find out which of the tracks had video demonstrations, since those are the ones that have barriers that you have to learn. But as I said before, Daisy Cruiser is so free that there's not even a video for it, so you can imagine how thrown off I was when I saw it. This is also why I'm saving my mushrooms, because- oh sh wait a minute. Uh oh. How do I get up there? I thought this was supposed to be a free one, how am I supposed to get up there? 
But thank God that Lando Calzonian, who's one of the staff over in the Backwards server, was actually in my channel while I was doing this run. Lando, I need your help. <laughs> you shroom with a mushroom trick out of the pool. Wait, I shroom with an MT trick out of the pool. Oh, I see. Okay. So kind of like this, right? All right, cool. Oh, shit. I got really nervous for a second. <laughs> The next few tracks are completely bereft of barriers, so... Montage! Rome Avanti is the last track in the run with a barrier to clear. Specifically, what we need to do is get around this glider ramp. The video demonstration does this strategy where they mini turbo and then mushroom jump up the ramp, and then jump straight over the glider. This is really precise, but fortunately there's a backup strategy where you just mushroom jump up the ramp directly, and then hop up onto this barrier on the left and drive around it. I said, fortunately there's a backup strategy where you just mushroom jump up the ramp directly and then hop up onto the barrier on the left and drive around it. Oh god damn it. After spending about five minutes dicking around here, I was finally able to get around the final barrier and finish up the track. And with that, the run's basically over. Well, not really, because we still have Daisy Circuit, Piranha Plant Cove, and Madrid Drive to get through, but they're literally free, so it doesn't really matter. I ended the run with a time of 57.03, which is not great as you could probably imagine. In addition to just bad driving, having not actually played most of the tracks backwards, my biggest time losses came from the barrier tracks, and in particular Twisted Mansion. Looking back on it, since we don't require tracks to be done in a specific order, it probably would have made sense to just do all of the barrier tracks first. But where's the fun in that? I like to live dangerously. I should also point out that after completing this run, I figured out some consistent strategies for most of the real problem tracks. Andy Best from the Backwards server actually provided me with a more consistent strategy for the N64 Rainbow Road gap where you jump into the wall until you start getting high jumps. Then you mushroom and hold down and right on the joystick to get over the barrier on your second high jump. This even works with bigger combos like Peach Teddy Leaf Tires, but it's a lot less consistent there. And why do I mention that build specifically? Well, because it actually makes the Twisted Mansion and Animal Crossing gaps much more consistent. For Twisted Mansion in particular, I developed a strategy where you drive up the stairs a little bit and then turn around and mini turbo before tricking, and this makes that barrier 100% consistent. And remember Rome? Well, as it turns out, there's a much simpler setup that was discovered by Carpa in the Backwards server where you mushroom and do an early jump straight into the wall. Doing another jump as soon as you land almost always gets you over the glider ramp, and not only is this really consistent, it's also really fast. I even used this to hold on to the Backwards world record on this track for all of five hours before Andy Best came back and completely demolished my time. Putting all these strats into practice, I was able to lower my time by a whopping 15 minutes to a 41.44. This is probably my favorite category of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Speedrun because of how much it reminds me of some of the absolutely broken stuff you can see in previous iterations of the Mario Kart franchise. And because of how much I love this run, I've been working with my fellow moderators in the speedrunning server and the community over in the backwards server to bring this category to life on speedrun.com. You'll find the 37 track run featured in this video along with a 100% category that features six additional tracks with barriers that are substantially harder than anything I showed here. Massive thanks to the Backwards community, not only for helping me flesh out the category, but for assisting me in actually figuring out how to get through all the barriers in the first place. If you're interested in doing the run, I highly recommend that you join not only the speedrunning server, but their server as well. I've got links to both of those in the description if you're interested, so I hope to see you all there. Thanks for watching, everyone.